Hello guys, my name is David and in this class we are going to build together a cool application which is the clone of WhatsApp application. We are going to have most of the functionality that WhatsApp application has. I have set up a small demonstration here and I'm going to show you how the final version of our application is going to be like and some of, to show some of the functionalities we have. I'm going to switch to my uh, mobile screen right now and uh, will demonstrate you the application. So here on the left I have my simulator running on iOS 5, uh, iPhone 5S, sorry. And on the right I have my iPhone uh, 6S. So in uh, simulator uh, we, have, uh, we are seeing now the recent screen uh, where we can see the people, the last chats we have done. In a cell we can see our avatar of the user we are chatting with. Uh, when was the last time we received a message from the user? and also we are printing the last message of the user. Then we have a settings tab where we can uh, display our current username, avatar image, uh, some privacy policy terms and service. Uh, we can uh, enable or disable our avatars in the chat and we can log out. So let's go back to recents. I'm going to demonstrate how the push notifications and chat is working right now. So let's go to the first user, I'm logged in as uh, with my Facebook account on my device. I'm going to open this chat here. And as you can see, some of the, uh, some of the things are getting lo logged in when we get, when we open the application. Like uh, first we didn't have the avatar image, we had a placeholder. And then once the avatars are loaded in, uh, we get them replaced. Also the, Location message was loading in and then we have set it. So here is the small interface of our uh, chat uh, where we have uh, on left the incoming messages. On the right we have our messages. We have the timestamps and uh, we also have uh, delivered and the re read report. So I'm going to send the test message right now. And uh, we are using Firebase in this application, so everything is live. Uh, you don't have to refresh to get any messages. Everything is real time. So I'm clicking send. And here on my device, I receive a push notification from uh, user two that I have a message. Let's click on it. And once it's open, you can see on user two, I have uh, one new message from user two. So let's click on it. And as you can see on my iOS uh, simulator, uh, first it was uh, delivered, the status of message, and once I open, uh, the status of message uh, automatically changed to read. Then uh, let's, uh, let's write a response. And straight away we are getting the, our message to our uh, other device, which is simulator right now. Uh, also we have functionalities here, like uh, when we click on an image, we get it uh, open in a different view. We can zoom in, zoom out, uh, or we can slide up or down to just close it. Uh, we, are we have also functionality to share the message, to, sa to save it, to send it to other user, to print it, to copy it, and a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, when we are going to click on the map, the location message, uh, we are going to get a full screen of the map and we can open, zoom in, zoom out and do other cool stuff that you can do on a map. Here we have an attachment button. We can uh, take a photo or we can uh, take a, uh, use our library to get a video. Uh, no, sorry, we are not going to send videos. We are only using images. So let me click on take photo. And right now, this is my device camera. I'm going to switch back to uh, front camera and now you can see my face. Let's go back. I am going to take a picture and we are going to use this picture to send it to our user. And here we go. We have received the image of our user and uh, we, can, we can write a response to our user. Let's open the... I have disabled here the hard uh, the device keyboard. So I'm going to put it on so we can type in with the 
keyboard of our iOS device. All right, here we go. So th this is the main functionality of our application that we are going to build together. So if you like it and if you want to build this application with me, go ahead and subscribe to my lesson, uh, to my class, and uh, we are going to have a cool time together. In this application, I'm covering uh, almost all the cool stuff that you would like to have in your application. We are going to use Facebook login. We are going to register uh, separately without any uh, <clears throat> any social media, so any user can register and login with his uh, uh, with his uh, user credentials. Uh, we are going to use Firebase for this application, which is real-time database. As you can see, as uh, I'm typing here the user gets the message straight away and there is no need to refresh or to, to do any other things. The application is working uh, offline as well. Let me demonstrate it to you. Right now you can see on my application that I have uh, Wi-Fi. Let me disable the Wi-Fi. And here if, uh, if I tap my for some reason, I don't want to disable the Wi-Fi. Let me check. Uh, no, Wi-Fi is off. Most probably we have this Wi-Fi icon because I'm connected to my computer. So here is I'm typing a message and I'm sending it. Right now it's going to local, uh, local Firebase database. And uh, once I get internet connection, let's switch on the Wi-Fi. Once I get internet connection, we should receive it here. You see straight away I have received my message when I get internet connection on my device. Same thing is working with the images or with location message. You don't have to have an internet, you can just type it, uh, whatever you need, and uh, you send it, and as soon as you get an internet connection, your application will work as usual. And uh, same for other users, you can go in, you can read your email, previous chats, you can do anything you want uh, in offline mode. And as soon as you get your, uh, your internet connection back, uh, Firebase will automatically synchronize its local database with uh, Firebase online database and uh, you are not going to lose any information. So as I said, if you want to build this application together, join me, we are going to have a fun time. Uh, I'm, I have already recorded more than 120 lectures and this uh, course is covering around uh, three hours of course. So you are going to build a cool WhatsApp uh, clone application in just under three hours. So hope to see you in my class. Take care. Bye-bye.